Hello and welcome to Object First Oopy, box to back up in 15 minutes. My name is Matt Price, Manager of Enablement here at Object First, and I'm joined by Anthony Cusimano, our Director of Technical Product Marketing. So this is episode five, the final episode of Box to Backup in 15. And what we're doing now, now that we've created our S3 keys and buckets, we've added Oopi into Veeam, now we need to go through and actually build a quick backup job to show you guys how easy it is to make sure that critical data remains immutable and safe from ransomware. So Anthony, What's step one to create a backup job? I mean, step one is we need to go to our home screen and actually create the backup, which I assume many of you are already very Veeam familiar, so this should feel yeah. like a walk in the park to you. Absolutely. So give the job a name, however you'd like to, to label these jobs with optional descriptions. You've got the ability to mark certain jobs as high priority based on the tier of workload, let's say. And then when you get to the point of actually creating the scope, the virtual machines that you'd like to protect in this example, you do have a lot of options with Veeam. And you know, essentially what you could do is a manual VM selection. So, you know, a one-off or a two-off, or you have the ability to use, let's say tags or folders. So there's certainly a lot of potential choices here, but in this example, we just grabbed our domain controller from our production lab because that is definitely critical in our ecosystem. So we just grabbed the DC and we hit add and we're gonna hit next here. Now, so Anthony, when we look at backing up directly to Oopi, you've got here as the backup repository dropdown menu and you'll see Oopi listed, but we've got other options too, right? About how to add Oopi in. That's right, yes. So in this video series, we have used direct to object as our backup repository type, but it is worth mentioning outside of this series, there are going to be other opportunities for you to add Oopi into your ecosystem through other ways, perhaps using it as an extent inside of a scale up backup repository or sober. Uh, do stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you subscribe, you ring the little bell to get notifications, because while this is box to backup, there are going to be opportunities for you to learn other ways to use Ootbee inside your Veeam environment in the future. And we want you to make sure that you stay tuned and stay knowledgeable about all of those things. Absolutely. And, and I'll go on to say, make sure you stay tuned for best practices as well, because one example in this quick run through of this job creation, we left everything on the default. So the retention policy at seven days. Now you may remember previously, we set our immutability window at 30. So you want to make sure that your retention policy is always longer than your immutability window so that Veeam does have the ability to prune data and keep that up. We just wanted to run through and show you with quick default settings, how easy it is to get started. Make sure that if you're backing anything up that has a highly transactional nature, such as a domain controller in this case, Exchange, SQL, you definitely want to enable application aware processing for a transactionally consistent backup of those. And then finally, you're simply going to give it a schedule if you choose to. In this case, we just left the schedule disabled and the final step is we'll just click to run the job. And that's it, Anthony. So box to back up in 15 minutes. It truly is incredibly simple to add Oopi into your ecosystem, create your simple S3 keys and buckets, bring it in as a repo, and then back up directly to it. That's the power of object first Oopi. Absolutely. So guys, once again, thank you so much for joining us during this five part mini series on how to get started with the unboxing all the way to your first backup job. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you found this content informative, be sure to share it with your colleagues, like it and stay tuned for more because we will be building out additional content that's going to provide a lot of value. So join us next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.